Hi, Brandon. How are you? I'm very good. How are you doing? I am fine. So tell me about living the Lego lifestyle with Justice League. <laughs> oh, boy. It is so fun. It, it's, it's a childhood dream come true. I mean, I think... Um, Realizing the DC Universe with Lego bricks is its so much fun for our designers. It's a huge challenge. I think, you know, with any cartoon, anything you think of, anything you can draw, it can be realized on film. But with the Lego Universe, you have to design everything with bricks. And that is an incredible challenge. It's, it's super fun. And again, we, we're drawing all and all of our artists are drawing on their experience of playing with Lego bricks as kids. And so, it, so it's a blast to uh, go into design meetings and see what our designers have cooked up with Lego bricks. Rick was saying that you guys met with Lego and they let you guys get your hands on a few of the test models. Yes, that was very interesting to see. They, they're Lego geniuses, of course, and they're just master builders. And to see the stuff that they can put together, and they can build it like that. I mean, stuff that would take us like several days to design and think of, they think in Lego. So they literally just pick up the bricks and start building, and boom, it's done. And they have this amazing design. They're, they're so cool to work with. Oh, my gosh, that is so fun. Now, how did you guys decide on using Brainiac as the nemesis? You know, it's sort of a collective decision. We, uh, one of the fun things about the story planning is we work very closely with DC and with Lego. And so we at Warner Brothers Animation will kind of cook up a bunch of ideas, and we take those ideas to Lego and DC. And we all sit down, and, and I always say this, it's just like playing with toys with your friends. Everybody sort of brings their toys into the room, and everybody starts stirring ideas in a big pot, and next thing you know, you got a story. And that's how we put these together. It's a lot of fun. It does look fun, and I love that it's appropriate for all ages, kid-friendly. So to me, Brainiac has always been a really scary character. And uh, Rick was saying you guys sort of made him you know, more approachable, more of a collector. How did yeah. you guys sort of interpret it that way? You know, it was pretty easy with Brainiac. I, I think everybody knows in the books he, he uh, he's uh, an extraterrestrial android from outer space, from another planet, and he travels the galaxy, and he has a habit of using his shrink ray to shrink down planets and cities and put them in bottles. So for all of us, because we're all super geeks making these, uh, it, it's very clear that he's a collector. So, of course, he's going to like shrink planets, put them in bottles, put them on a shelf, save them in pristine condition forever and ever to, to you know, to store their value just right. So, yeah, it was very easy to just kind of push him that little extra bit. It stays true to his character, and it's a lot more fun uh, to, to watch him in, in a Lego movie. I think a, a lot more fun of a character for kids. Now, will you be watching the movie with us for the first time? Yes, I will. Oh my gosh, that is so fun. Yeah, it is. I, I can't wait. This is like Christmas morning for us because we spend like a year making these. And then it's like, all right, what's everybody going to think? We made this gift for everybody, you know? So, and here it is. We get to unwrap it today. So it's great. So what do you collect? I do collect Lego. Oh, I you do? do? Oh my gosh, yeah. I, I, I'm a collector. I've, I've always collected toys. And I kind of, I'll be honest, I resisted Lego for years because it's so attractive. There's, there's so many cool toys in Lego. And I was already collecting so much, I just, I couldn't do one more thing. And then I started making Lego movies. I'm like, like I have to collect everything I can get now. So I have a huge, massive collection of uh, Lego in my office. Do you put them together or do you mean they're, oh, yeah. in, they're not in their boxes? Oh, no, no. You take them out of the boxes. Absolutely. That's the most fun part about Lego is, is bringing your imagination to it. So a lot of times I will build them as the instructions tell me to do. And then I'll take them apart and rebuild them in a way that I want to do. And that's, that's a really fun uh, part of Lego that's so unique to that particular toy. And I think, you know, again, that's, that's the charm of it. It's the charm that we get to bring into these movies. Uh, it, it's the charm that, that we get to work with as designers. It, there's no losing with Lego. It's such an awesome, awesome toy and an awesome world that they've, they've invented. One last question. I know you're not going to be able to choose, but who's your favorite Lego Justice League? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, in this movie, uh, we got to introduce Supergirl. And we had such a great time working with her. She was voiced uh, brilliantly by Jessica DeChico. She's so fun. I know a lot of people have probably fallen in love with Supergirl in the TV show. I think they're going to fall in love with her all over again in this movie. She's such a bright, happy character. So fun to work with. So I was really happy to, to get to work with her. Also, the Legion of Superheroes. I think there, there's a lot of young fans out there that, that don't uh, know the Legion. 
and that we get to introduce them in this movie and, and introduce them to uh, another part of the DC Universe that they may not be aware of. So that's another one of the, the fun things that we get to do with these movies. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to seeing it with you guys. Thank you so much for talking to me. Welcome. And hopefully I'll be able to see some of your Lego collection at your office one day if I can interview you. <laughs> that sounds very good. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you.